The search for a killer continued in earnest today, from New Mexico, where Frankie was a prison boss, to the hospital grounds where he was stabbed to death yesterday. Late this afternoon, detectives found an additional clue in the case, a footprint about 20 feet from the stairway to Frankie's office. Photographs and impressions were taken. Investigators now confirm that Frankie was attacked with a knife near his car. Still alive, he struggled back up these stairs to a patio where he tried and failed to get back into the building. Investigators say the governor has made this case a priority. Between state, county, and city detectives, more than 30 law enforcement officials may now be following leads, according to one estimate. At the state police, more than 50 people have called with leads to the police. The state police have uh, made a tremendous commitment to solve this case, and they have assigned numerous people from outside of the Salem area to work on it. Marion County District Attorney Dale Penn says the case won't be solved overnight. With Frankie's jobs as prosecutor and prison chief in New Mexico and Oregon, he had many opportunities to make enemies. No one knows that better than Chuck Sides, a friend and former lawmaker from Salem. Because he was effective, he made enemies. And uh, his, uh, as he explained the stories in New Mexico to me over the period of time I knew him, he had made very big enemies down there because of uh, being effective and bringing to justice not only uh, 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 high uh, crime type people, but he'd also gone after uh, people that were making money off the system. Side says Frankie received numerous death threats during his time in Oregon. Some he believed came from New Mexico, where he investigated corruption in the prison system. The DA says he's taking the threat seriously. Uh, anyone who's a prosecutor or a judge or working in corrections, there are threats. Um, when those threats are, are carried out, if that's what happened in this case, that, that's something that's unusual. But obviously that has to, to maintain itself as one of the priority motives at this time. Sides said late last year, Frankie talked with him about an effective way to kill a person, a way that now seems almost prophetic. And I can't remember what brought it up, but he told me exactly uh, how a person would die with a stab through the heart very easily. And that would be a method of which uh, you didn't have to use a gun and you didn't have to use anything. Uh, and uh, he would basically, he showed me with his, uh, his own hand of how you would do that. Side says Frankie won't easily be replaced. Already, even as the investigation continues, the acting prison chief Dick Peterson is meeting with the governor at corrections headquarters. Detectives say pressure to find a killer has come all the way from the governor's office. In Salem, Eric Mason, Newsroom 6, Willamette Valley Bureau. This time we're going to work a track on something going south.